Hi, second grade students. Today's Stories from Knowledge 3, Lesson 8, called Marathon. Before we begin our read aloud, we're going to go over our vocabulary words. Our first vocabulary word for today's story is the word avoid. Repeat after me. Avoid. Avoid means to steer clear of or to keep away from. Our next vocabulary word is the word marathon. Say marathon. A marathon is a foot race measuring a little more than 26 miles long. Any long distance race or endurance contest. And our last vocabulary word is the word tribute. Say tribute. A tribute is a gift or compliment that's given to honor the contributions of a particular person or particular group. The Persians are coming. The terrifying sound raced through Athens like a rapidly spreading fire. The very name of the Persians meant terror to all of the Greeks. And now King Darius had sent an army of Persian foot soldiers in Calvary to punish the Athenians. Darius was angry that Athens had helped other Greek city-states fight against Persia. A fleet of 600 ships had brought as many as 20,000 experienced Persian soldiers to a beach about 26 miles from Athens, near a wide flat plain called Marathon. There are not enough of us to face them, moaned an Athenian army general. Besides, no one can beat the Persian soldiers. But another Athenian general, a man, man named Miltiades, answered, The Persians fight for a king most of them have never seen and who cares nothing for them. We fight for our freedom and for the freedom of our children. That must be worth something in battle. Now in those days, the Athenians had ten elected generals plus another military leader called a polemarch. Callimachus, the polemarch, gathered along with ten generals, including Miltiades, to create a plan of defense. One of the generals asked, The plain of Marathon is a perfect place for the Persians to attack us. There is room for their horsemen to move around us, and there will be nowhere for us to go to avoid their well-organized soldiers fighting on foot. Another general suggested, Let us send our fastest runner to Sparta. The Spartans are the greatest fighters in Greece, and they will help us, and we might stand a chance. But it was 150 miles from Athens to Sparta, and some of the journey included rugged mountains and streams. The generals knew they would need a runner who was fast and strong. Pheidippides is our man, the generals agreed. No one in Athens can touch him for speed over a long distance. So they sent swift-footed Pheidippides to call the Spartans upon for help. Then the generals called together the 10,000 Athenian men of fighting age. In every Athenian home there were tearful goodbyes. At last the Athenians started off toward the plain of Marathon, about 26 miles away. Meanwhile, the Persians were camped out in a beach near the edge of the plain. The Persian commander in charge told his men, We will win such a great victory here for King Darius that the rest of the Greeks will simply surrender to us. The Persians were so confident, their commander took no special steps to guard his camp other than sending the cavalry off on their horses to search the area a few times a day. As all this was happening, the strong legs and powerful heart of the Athenian messenger Phidippides carried him toward Sparta. Pheidippides ran as he had never run before, stopping only a few times to drink from streams or rivers. He ran for almost three days until he reached Sparta and the two Spartan kings. You must come with your armies at once, it will be too late, he exclaimed. To his horror, the Spartan kings answered, We cannot leave before tomorrow. Sparta is in the middle of a religious holiday honoring the gods, and our laws say we must finish before we leave to fight. But by then the battle will be over and we will have lost, Pheidippides exclaimed. He sent out again to carry the news to the Athenians that they would have to be on their own. As it turned out, this was not true. As the Athenians marched toward Marathon, a thousand Greeks from another city, having heard the news, joined them. Together, the 11,000 Greeks marched over to the mountains to the plain of Marathon. As they did so, Pheidippides arrived to say, The Spartans cannot help us. The generals were horrified. The Persian army is much bigger than ours, with many more soldiers, one pointed out fearfully. We should surrender and beg for mercy, cried a second. There will be no mercy, said Miltiades, the general who had spoken boldly back in Athens. The Persians are here because we helped other Greeks strike back against them. The Persians will not stop until they have destroyed us. The ten generals voted. Should they surrender or should they attack? Each side won five votes. 
Then Miltiades remembered something. Callimachus was allowed to vote too. Miltiades told him, the decision rests with you. You will decide rather we surrender and agree to serve the Persians, suffering all that this will bring, or whether we will fight and live as free people. Callimachus trusted Miltiades. What do you think, he asked. Miltiades answered, if we do not fight, the people of Athens will be frightened too, and will surrender the city to the enemy. All of Greece will follow, but if we tack before fear sweeps through our camp, I believe we can win. Callimachus then said, then let us fight. Luck was with them. The Persian commander had sent his cavalry off again to make sure no other Greek armies were approaching. While the horsemen were away, the Greeks spread out in a wide line. The Greek generals purposely put out more men on either end of the wide line, leaving the middle at its weakest part. Then, shouting a loud battle cry, the Greeks charged. The Persians were startled. No one ever ran toward them. Nevertheless, they moved forward toward the Greeks. Look how weak these fools have left their middle, laughed the Persian leader, but the laugh was on him, for just as the Greeks had planned, the Persians moved to the middle first and pushed back the Greek line. But then the stronger Greek forces on the edges circled around and attacked from the sides, catching the Persians in between them. The Persians, confused and unable to defend themselves, turned and ran for their ships, with the Greeks hot on their heels. In fact, the Greeks captured seven Persian ships before the Persians could even reach them. The other Persians then sailed away. We have beaten the mighty Persians, the Greeks told one another in amazement. Then they remembered their families waiting for the news at home. Legend says that Pheidippides proudly volunteered, I shall carry the news. He set out again, leaving the scene of the Battle of Marathon, and as he reached the gate of Athens, the people gathered around him. He was just able to gasp out one word, victory. Then his great heart, which had carried him to Sparta and back, finally gave out. Pheidippides fell dead at the gates of Athens. In tribute to Pheidippides, the Greeks measured the distance he had run from Marathon to Athens and those 26 miles became the distance of their long-distance races. And this is why today we call long-distance race a marathon, in memory of Phidippides and all those who fought for freedom on the plains of Marathon.